Hi, this is Jide Ogunsonya from bloggers.ng. Well, in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to add a privacy policy page to a Blogspot blog. Well, the first thing you have to do is to generate the content of the privacy policy page. You can easily do this at privacypolicyonline.com. I've actually published a separate video tutorial on how to make use of the site. So you can check the description of this video for a link to the video tutorial. Once you've generated the HTML of your privacy policy page from that website, the next thing you have to do is to sign into your blogger's blog dashboard. Once you sign in, you click on pages and it will take you down to this page. So right here you can now click on new page button. So right here you can type in the title privacy policy. After you are done with the title, then you can come here and switch over to HTML. Then you go to the privacy online page to copy the HTML that you generated. Come back here and paste it. After pasting it, you can switch back to compose mode. If you look deeper, you might see some things you would like to remove. Once you are done, you can hit publish. So as you can see right here, the privacy policy page has been created. So the next thing for you to do is to copy the link of this privacy policy page. You can just over on this view and right click, then click on copy link address. Then the next thing to do is to come to layout. So we can add a link that will point to this privacy policy page we've just created. So for you to do that, you have to make use of the pages gadget. If it's not on your layout, you can actually add it by making use of this. So now let's assume it has already been added to your layout. You click on edit and you should see the privacy policy right here. So you select it and click save. Then click on save arrangement. If you now view your blog, you should now see the privacy policy tab appearing on it. As you can see right here, this tab links to the privacy policy page we've created. Well, if you know how to walk around with your blog's HTML, you can also add the link to the footer section of your blog. That's all. Have fun.